welcome to part two of my boy group tier list. Um, we're just going to go ahead and get right into it. For this part, we'll be doing Ghost 9 through Shiny. So, first up, we have Ghost 9. Um, I've loved everything from their debut till now. Um, for a short period of time, I was a little bit put off by them because my bias did end up leaving the group. However, um, that doesn't make their music any less good because it's still amazing. And now I'm pretty sure that I bias prints. So I'm going to put them into the wanna stand list because even though um, I do enjoy every, their, every one of their, sorry for my mumbling, every one of their releases, um, unfortunately I haven't got to the standpoint with them yet. Next up we have Golden Child. I'm going to go ahead and put them right up into the I stand them list. Um, at the beginning I kind of slept on them due, their, due to their QT concepts, but I did see them at KCON New York one year and I sort of fell in love with them and then Wannabe came out which sort of reinforced that um, I was going to stay on them. Um, I am super upset because I just saw that um, Y is enlisting into the military service so um, it's going to be sad without him but I will continue to support the rest of the members. Next up we have GOT7. Um, I used to be super, super into them, but unfortunately, like with Day6, I believe JYP kind of just uh, forgot that they were there for a little bit, or, you know, forgot their style of music, because I felt like it completely changed um, a shortly after Never Ever, um, which wasn't necessarily a bad thing, but it just didn't feel like JYP was promoting them as much as um, their other artists, uh, just like with Day6. Um, now that they are no longer under JYP, um, I'm hoping they kind of get back into their own sound. It doesn't necessarily have to sound like their old sound, but I'm hoping it's, uh, more them. So for now, I'm going to put them into, I like some of their music. Next up, we have Great Guys. Um, I feel like they're not disbanded, but I'm going to go ahead and put them into the disbanded but not forgotten because I haven't heard from uh, their group in a while. I'm sure they are still releasing stuff on their channels, but I just haven't seen something pop up that um, I would check out. Um, next up we have Icon, and um, this is similar to GOT7 except for um, instead of the company slipping on them, it was because BI left, and you know, BI was kind of, or he didn't really leave, I think he got kicked out, but anyways, you know what I mean. Um, he was, you know, behind a lot of their music, and I feel like since he left, they kind of lost their sound, um, and then YG didn't know what to do with them, so now that they are no longer under YG, I think that they're going to, you know, get on their own concept and style again, and release good stuff. Um, I want to put them into, I like some of their music, because all their old music is good, and golden, and even some of their, you know, newer releases with under YG, they, they weren't terrible, but they just didn't feel like an icon song. Um, next up we have Kingdom. Um, I'm going to be honest, a lot of their songs do sound very similar, but I do really love their concept idea of, like, giving each member, like, an era to shine. And I really like that it's each, like, like a Kingdom era. Um, I do like that some's traditional and some's not. Um, but like I said, some of their songs, well, a lot of their songs sound alike. Um, but I do have a few B-sides by them that I really like, so I'm going to put them into the I like some of their music category. Next up we have Lucy. They are phenomenal. I'm going to put them into the wanna stand list because there are some songs that I don't really jam to. They're not bad. They just don't stick out as much to me as some of their other songs. Um, but they do have the potential to rise up the list. Next up we have MC and D, who I need to come back like pronto. They're going into the I stand them part of the list. Next up we have Monsta X, and this is similar to how I fell out of love with Day6. Um, I don't think their company is sleeping on them, obviously, because they get a lot of releases and stuff like that, but um, actually it's more similar to the case of Ghost9, where I biased Wanho. He ended up having to leave. I also biased B.I. whenever he was an icon, he ended up having to leave. So if you see like a repeating pattern here, um, so my bias left kind of felt a little lost with them. Um, then he came back and had a solo career. I was kind of petty because I'm like, why did the company kick him out? 
and he's still in the industry makes no sense. Like, <laughs> he could still be in the group being a part of the group as a member instead of, I don't know. The whole situation's just bizarre. Um, miss him in the group. I'm not, like, a huge fan of his solo work, but we're talking about the current members. Um, they are slowly starting to release work that I like again. Um, not necessarily saying that any work between when I fell out of love with them and now has been bad. It's just not been my style, or I've just been sleeping on them, which is entirely possible. But for now, they're going into the, I'd like some of their music. Um, I would love to want to stand them. Um, they may move up there again if I feel more, you know, attracted to their music. Next up, we have Mont or M-O-N-T. I haven't heard anything about them in a while. Um, I believe they're supposed to be debuting in a bigger group, and I believe Jay from Boys Planet is supposed to be in that group. I am quite unsure about what's happening with them because I haven't like looked it up or anything. So I'm going to put them into disbanded but not forgotten. And I would like to remind people that just because a group is in this c category, that doesn't mean that they are disbanded. It just means that I haven't heard from them in a while. Um, unfortunately, the decrunch uh, that I did in the last part it has disbanded. Next up, we have NCT. And I think anybody who has been on my channel before knows exactly where this is going. So I'll give you like three seconds to go to scroll down into the comments and be like, oh, they're obviously going to be up here in your alt category. Um, if, if you've lived under a rock or are new to my channel, um, which you probably are because I don't have very many subscribers, but anyways, they are my um, alt group. They are number one. Um, my, one of my ultimate biases is Doyoung, um, but I also bias Taeyong, Kun, Xiaojun. Uh, sometimes Jano attacks me. And sometimes I list them as a bias, sometimes I'm like, no, I don't bias them, but you know, I kind of really do. And then I also really like Yang Yang, but ultimately I love all of the members. Um, I'm going to be devastated whenever they start going into their military service, which for Tail it is coming up, so, um, and then Taeyong will follow. Um, but however, a majority of them are foreigners, so a majority of them will pretty much always be there. Um, but again, their contract expirations are coming up, and... I just honestly don't know who's going to stay and who's going to leave. SM hasn't been the best company, we all know that, but I know Do Young has expressed how he's kind of fallen in love or fallen out of love with what he's been doing, so if he does leave the group, I am going to be devastated. Um, um, I hope he doesn't leave the industry entirely if that's the case. Um, I would still love to see him around. Um, he has a beautiful voice, so it would just be a shame. Um, and then same with Tail. I don't know if he will stay given, you know, the way SM treats him among some of the other members of NCT. Um, I was ecstatic to see that he actually got some uh, screen time in AO. Um, but yeah, I will be absolutely devastated when they go and that probably, I would not be surprised, would mark the end of me being a K-pop fan. Like, I just don't see myself being as into K-pop once like NCT disbands and some of the other groups that are on this list that I'd, well I guess I'll go ahead and spoil like Pentagon or like oh, on and off, etc. Um, but yeah, once these groups that I'm like really into are just, you know, which they're all coming up to their contract expiration dates, once they start going, like I just don't know the, my future with K-pop. Um, anyways, before I, you know, rant even longer, let's move on to In Flying. Um, they are going into the, I like some of their music because I do really like some of their earlier work, but I haven't checked them out recently. I mean, I usually watch their music videos as soon as, like, or any artist music videos that I see at least once, but a lot of times I'll forget them, so I'm, they'll need, like, a second listen, and unfortunately I haven't been doing that with a lot of groups recently, and, and Flying is one of them. However, I still like some of their music. Next up we have New East, or Newest, whichever is the correct pronunciation. Um, it's terribly sad that they disbanded, but like this 
tier is. They are not forgotten. Um, I'm absolutely obsessed with Min Hyun's solo that he just had. Um, and I cannot wait for more of their solo work. I'm hoping to see all the members do solos. So, um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Next up, we have Omega X. Um, I'm going to put them into the Wanna Stand list. Um, they have some songs that I really like, and then some songs that I don't check, as check out as much. Um, I also have a YouTuber friend on here that likes them a lot, and so I try to keep up with them because of that. Um, but I also really enjoy a lot of the members because they all come from previous groups or previous uh, companies. Um, I did support some of the members that were in one team, so I continue to support them now. And um, there was one song that I was super, super obsessed with. Um, I cannot remember the name of it now, which is, again, probably why I should have a script written for this. But like I said, kind of just, you know, rambling off the top of my head. So it's kind of more me, I guess. Um, <sighs> my YouTuber friend would probably know what song it is. So if you are watching this, please put in the comments the song title. I'm sure I'm going to look it up right after this. But anyways, uh, yes, they're going into the one to stand list. Um, also, before we move on, I'm still glad that they no longer have to deal with what they were dealing with at their company, um, and I hope that they have a better future with companies. Next up we have One Us. Um, I was super in love with them at their debut, and up until I believe their first traditional comeback, I, that was my favorite. Um, unfortunately, after that I kind of fell out with them. I feel like their concept changed a lot, which... I normally like because I loved whenever Vix did that, but at the same time, again, I'm falling out of K-pop, so that's probably the reason why I stopped checking them out as much. Again, I still watch the music videos at least once, um, but with their recent traditional comeback, I kind of fell back in love with them, so I'm hoping they continue releasing music that I like. Next up, we have One Wee. They're going up into One Um I really enjoy like the bands and... Um, their music is just beautiful, however, I feel like a, recently a lot of their songs kind of do sound alike, so I'm hoping that they do some more different stuff. Um, there was one of their songs that I really liked that was really different, and again, I'm not remembering the name. It was very summery, though. Um, let me look it up real quick, and I'll look up Omega X's as well. Sorry for the pause. Omega X's was Love Me Like, and then One Wee's was End of Spring. That song was just absolutely beautiful, and I wish they would release more like that every now and then, but I also don't want them to lose the style they have now because I still really do like those songs. I just wish they would give us like a mix of those and then like more poppy, upbeat songs as well. Um, next up we have On and Off. They're going up into my alts. They are number five in my top five. Um, Hyojin's vocals are amazing, and honestly, I really need them all to return from military service, obviously, except for you, since he doesn't have to go. But I need them to come back and come back pronto. Um, I miss them so much. <laughs> and if anybody that, um, uh, comes onto my channel can hear Sukhumvit swimming, playing as my channel intro because I'm absolutely obsessed with that song. It and Wavy's um, Domino are my top played songs on Spotify, so if that tells you anything. Um, also, Hyojin is my bias, if that wasn't obvious. Next up, we have Only One Off. I'm really appreciating all of their solo work. I think that they uh, were wise to do that and have brought in a lot of fans that way. Um, I was not like a big fan of them right off the bat. It wasn't until Angel came out that I kind of sort of got obsessed with that song and replayed it and replayed it. The music video is kind of really cool. Um, and then I liked a few songs after that, like Libido. Um, all of their solo work was great. And I'm hoping that um, they can move up into the Wanna Stand list after their next comeback. Um, I don't see it being a problem with them moving up there. Like, I think as soon as it releases, they'll just go right up. Next up, we have P1 Harmony. They're going into the I Stand Them list. Um, originally, I didn't agree whenever people were like, OMG, FNC is kind of like hyper-focused on this group and is forgetting the others. And 
at first I was like, well, I mean, they don't have, they're not getting any more comebacks than like any other newer group is. However, with the decline in SF9's releases and the fact that I feel like Cherry Boy only comes back like once every three freaking years, um, I do have to agree that FNC is prioritizing uh, P1 Harmony over their other groups. Um, We'll get more into SF9 or next, or like not next, but like in three groups, but um, yeah. I'll talk more about that then. Next up we have Pentagon. Moving them right up into the alt list. They are my second favorite group and Jinho is one of my ultimate biases. Um, he has amazing vocals. Please sweet. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm talking really fast again. Please support Hui on uh, Boys Planet. Um, love him to death. He is like the best leader ever and the fact that he's on here is just like a crime like pentagon should be huge right now and shine was such a big hit and i just because of everything that happened i think that they were not able to get to the full potential that they were putting out and they have always put out pure gold and the fact that he has you know put blood sweat and tears into this group to be slumped on is just absolutely terrible. Um, but anyways, I'll, I could go on about this forever as well, but I will stop before this video gets too long. Next up we have Seventeen. I'm gonna put them into the wanna stand list. Um, when they debuted I did stand them. They probably were all potential, however, um, like with many groups I've just kinda had a falling out with them. They haven't released any bad songs, I still listen to each and every one of them and that's why it's in the wanna stand list and I, not the I like some of their music down with like Icon and stuff because I still listen to them usually like at least once or twice every two weeks or so. But anyways, next up we have SF9. Um, previously they were um, in the I stand list, however, with their most recent releases, I'm putting them into the wanna stand list because they have unfortunately dropped out of my top 10. Um, this is because I feel like FMC's, like, <sighs> let me rephrase that. They were at the peak of their career with, um, like, whatever song was before, Summer Breeze, then Summer Breeze. Like, I feel like they were huge, or not huge, you know what I mean, but like, they got their first win, etc. I don't know why FNC wasn't, you know, taking advantage of all the attention that they got off that and continuing releases such as that. Um, Teardrop, it's not like a bad song, but like to follow up the previous songs, it just didn't, you know, seem any different. Like I feel like they should have, you know, kept wanting up and one upping themselves, but it just kind of felt like a, like an enough song, which not saying as an enough, but like enough their song. You know, I can't remember you look good enough or whatever is the lyric or something like that. But it kind of just felt like another version of that. And then the song that followed up that, I can't even remember the name now. I kind of, it, it might be vice versa and Teardrop might have came out after that. But it kind of felt like the same song again. And then they had that song where not every member was there. And that one was like different and refreshing. But it was kind of just like a I don't want to say disappointment, but just like I wish every member was there. Kind of just, I know some are going off to service and that can't, can't be helped, but like with the constant like scheduling conflicts, that makes it a bit difficult as well. But anyways, enough about that. FNC just really needs to get a hold on that they have more than one group. And anyways, la our last group for this video is Shiny. And I love each and every one of the Shiny members. Uh, Originally, Jung Hun was my bias. He's still my bias, but um, at this point, I've decided that I bias all the members because I just am obsessed with each and every one of their solo careers. But as a group, because Shiny hasn't been coming back recently, and I wasn't like the hugest fan of Don't Call Me. Like it's still a good song. It just didn't feel like a Shiny song. Um, I'm still in love with Married to the Music, and the whatever song came right after that was amazing as well, and obviously like Hello and stuff, but some of their older work does make me cringe as well. So I'm going to put them into the wanna stand list, but as soloist, each and every member would be up into the alt categories. Also, please stand 
and listen to Onu's song that's about to come out. Um, anyways, thank you for watching this video, and I hope to have part three out within the next few days. Um, this is also a really busy week for me at work because of just the season, but anyways, thanks again for watching. Bye. You give me the right